It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, the final presidential debate took place on Thursday, and the actual CNN headline after was, Trump behaved more like a regular person. <laughs> That's not a description of a president. It's like the description of a robot from Westworld. <laughs> this debate was so frustrating to watch. Did anyone else find themselves yelling lines at the screen that they wish Biden had said? Like when Trump talked about how good he's been for the stock market, I was like, Joe, the stock market when you were vice president went up four times higher than Trump's stock market. You have the ball, you're standing above the rim, why will you not dunk it? <laughs> or when Trump said that Biden is all talk and no action, why didn't Biden just say, bitch, show us your taxes, show us the vaccine, show us the wall, and show us what prison you locked Hillary in? <laughs> Truly, it was like Biden had an open field running for a touchdown, and then this happened. And he is gone. Trying to stay upright, he trips. <laughs> Trump claimed that he was the least racist person in the room, which is only something the most racist person in the room was. <laughs> you never hear Martin Luther King, like, I'm the least racist. <laughs> Nobody's expecting you to be the least racist. I'd, I'd just settle for not so racist anymore. <laughs> when you lie that big, it makes you look more guilty. Like when my uncle told me he doesn't get high anymore while he was holding my TV. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> You also know politics in 2020 is stupid when some of the best investigative journalism is being done by Borat. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani is denying he did anything wrong after a controversial scene in the new Borat movie in which he's alone in a hotel room with a female reporter, puts his hands down his pants, and appears to start touching himself. Unfortunately, we can't show you the video. Uh, not because it violates standards, but because anyone who watches it dies in seven days. <laughs> Giuliani defended himself by explaining that he had to lay down on the bed to tuck in his shirt, which I think is an actual punchline to a Yo Mama's So Fat joke. Rates of coronavirus are spiking in almost every state as the country braces for a possible third peak. But are we actually bracing, though? Because the first time, people were having knife fights over Lysol and toilet paper, and now people are back to just eating buffalo wings outside, just licking on their fingers. It's gross. <laughs> Am I the only one still terrified by this? I remember when Tom Hanks got it like five years ago, six months ago, and we all sat there teary-eyed thinking we might lose Forrest Gump? Now a whole football team gets sick, and they just moved the game. I don't know where I'm going with this. It's, just, it's been a really weird week, and I really, really thought the president was going to die. <laughs> Former President Barack Obama was also back on the campaign trail this week, and it was kind of jarring to see. Obama's presidency seems so long ago, it's easy to forget he's 15 years younger than either of the current candidates. <laughs> you know who else is younger than the current candidates? The guys we elected in the years 2000 and 1992. <laughs> is it just me or is that insane? This election is the equivalent of a baseball team giving a four-year deal to Willie Mays now. 